Can, can I get a couple, couple minutes here? I, um, first, I, I walked into the works at the end of the day fully intending to vote against this. Um, I think I've changed my mind. I think, think you guys have cha changed my mind on this. I think the, the what, what I think we've managed to do is create an option that didn't exist. Don't tell anybody. Um, I, um, so so e everything I'm about to say applies, but I, I, this is a different solution to, it's, it's, a, it's a solution to a different problem that the state presented. And, and, and I think um, um, I, I, was, I was always of the opinion you guys had done the best job you could do with our ideal, I, I think having sat down and really, really gone through it, through it, through it today, I think it's act actually worth supporting. Um, with that in mind, I, I, I do have a couple of props that I that I want to show show to the folks. Um, this is a thing you've heard very little about because the state do doesn't want to talk about it. This is a a, oh, sorry, Wes, I don't mean to, to, to whack you. This is individual test score growth uh, from 2009 to 2015. That's rough, roughly the Rick Scott administration. It's roughly Kelly Star, Stargell's career. Um, this, this is a Stanford study um, based on kids who moved through state school, state school, school, school systems. Um, the color purple on this map is bad. Uh, you'll, you'll see that Florida as a whole is the purplest state. Um, that is, the state do doesn't want to talk about this. They've, they've completely ignored this. Um, the, I am skeptical basically of all data in education, quite, 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 quite frank, frankly. But this was put, put, put together by Stan Amford based on state's own tests. And if you look at Florida, every single district, every single one, fails to create a year's worth of growth according to this model. Now, whether that model is, is completely valid, valid or not, that's up for the wonks to, fit, to figure out. But you know, look, look at us compared to the whole rest of the country. We've been doing this treadmill of punishing our teachers, punishing our kids, starving fund funding, grading schools, treating schools that are choice and get to curate their enrollments in one, 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 one way in schools that aren't in the same, same way for 20 years, and we're the worst test score growth state in the country. It's time to stop this. Um, I, I, again, I, I plan that you guys have done is, is, is solid. Now, I want to individually take a look at a couple of our schools real quick uh, that are on this list. You guys all, all remember the BAM equa equa equation, right? We, 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 we had a meeting with our, our legislators about 18 months, months ago, I guess. I, I hadn't been on the board long. And uh, I held up something similar to this in front of Kelly Star Argyle. I said, What's, you know, th this is what you've done to, to punish schools. And her, as she cl claimed it, said I was just trying to find something objective to, to, to measure teachers by. Um, this is the equation. This equation right here is the reason Kathleen Middle and Lake, Lake Alfred Polly are on this list. Um, using this equation, which the state has since gotten rid, rid of, but using this equation at the beginning of last, last year, they gutted a large portion of the Kathleen Middle te teaching staff. The state of Florida did, did, did that, not us. The state of Florida took over that school for the first half of the year and the result of that was many of those kids had four subs, the, the, uh, four, four uh, teachers, the uh, teacher they started with, a sub, a coach, and then an administrator, and then, and then, and then their permanent teacher. Once we got that school stabilized af after the first half of the year, they got to within a point of, of a C. If the state had just left them alone, if the state had not used this non nonsense, they wouldn't be on this list. Um, you could probably say the, say, say the same for, for or like after Polly. Um, but it doesn't even matter because it's not even the same school. I mean, we've 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 turned it into a magnet school, so it, it's 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 not comparing apples and or or or, or oranges. It's 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 comparing vastly different fruit. Um, again, 
this is what your legislators think a teacher is worth. We're still having to, you know, e even though VAM is gone, it still plays a role because it still factors into what their three-year evaluation rate, rating is. So we still have to deal with, deal with, Ill, Ill with it. Um, and I just think it's important for people to understand the level of active sabotage, not just lack of support, of active sabotage of a number of the schools, uh, particularly traditional zone schools, particularly tr traditional zone schools that serve kids who, who, who don't have a lot of av advocates for, for, for them. Your state is not your friend. Um, and so I, again, I, I, I had come here tonight prepared intending to vote against, against this for all, for all the, the, uh, re the, re the reasons I just mentioned. I, the the, the $2.1 million that we're being forced to spend we could be spending on other things. There are, you know, it's coming right out of the general fund. Yeah, it, 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 there are, but there are some support mechanisms here. I, I, I think I, I agree with the sellers on this. There's, there's, there's actual personnel help here. And I think quite honestly, it defeats, it, it defeats what, the, what, what the state tried to do with that, that law um, or else, you know, well, well We'll see if they approve, 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 approve it. Um, anyway, I, I just wanted you guys to know, to remember why we're here, um, and to think about the kind of model of education you want to have here and at the state le level and, and vote. And look, and look who's not here. I invited Col Colleen Burton to come and talk about this. I invited Kelly Star Argel to come here and talk about this. I invited Ben Albritton. I invited Sam, Sam, Sam Killer Killebrew. Nobody's here. They, they have a lot to do with this, ar ar arguably more, more than us. And they're not here to talk, talk to you. They're not here to listen to you. You know, I think you can argue they just don't care enough to face, to face, to face, to face, face you. And that's a thing you gotta be aware of. But they do have enough care to send mailers that cost thousands and thousands of dollars to you to, bra to brag about what, what they've done. So with that, I'll be done, thanks. Thank you, Mr. Townsend. Any other board discussion? Um, I, I would just like to echo a few comments that I heard from some of the other board members. I, I can't thank Superintendent Bird and her staff, in particular Superintendent Bird, because I know she worked so hard on this. And coming up with this uh, creative solution, it, you know, one of the solutions was to close schools. We haven't done that. We know a local county that did that with disastrous results. We didn't close any schools. We didn't turn our schools over to a charter. We didn't turn our schools over to a third party operator. We, uh, Superintendent Burr brought to us a creative solution that works for our community. And uh, so I just wanna say thank you so much for doing that, Madam Superintendent. Um, so we, the motion on the floor is to approve the contract with educate.